Hey guys, Kaiju Mayotic back. We're here with another review. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the FH Figure Arts Raditz. Cause uh he's wonderful. So uh yeah. How about we go on to the review table and uh check him out. And alright, here we are up close. Let's bring him up. Um this Raditz honestly probably one of the better figures in the line. He just looks so nice. Let's just see the likeness is literally on point. The colors are pretty much anime perfect. Not a lot of smudges. Very few smudges. A little bit of paint rub there. Otherwise though, he is looking darn good. He's bulky, but not too bulky. The hair does look a little weird. The sacrifice of it, it looking, it's either it looks weird or it doesn't stand. Personally, I would rather have this, the back looks nice, and then have it look weird in the back there than him not being able to stand. Because you almost don't have to lean him forward at all. Just a tad, if you get the leg or if you get the ankle set up perfectly, you almost don't have to lean him forward. Ooh, of course, now that I'm in review, he's being a bad. <laughs> there we go. See, there's not a lot of lean forward. It's it's less than Jace. All right. Oh, now he's kind of being a butt. So, I mean, design-wise, that's only really what I've noticed is that. And then he also doesn't come with the ear like Bardock. So you can't take the scouter off and have it look normal, which is a little disappointing. I don't know why they're flip-flopping a few figures that can and then a few that can't. I mean, I guess Raditz wears it for the most part, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it. I think it gets broken eventually, or he shatters it right before the big fight with Piccolo and Goku, but nah, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's get on to the articulation so there's quite a bit on this guy so the head is on like the super saiyan 3 joint where it's got i would take out the face but uh, maybe i'll go make a cut of it but it's got this big old joint that just goes forward and back and then with the neck it goes really far so it's, oh, well i guess it decided to pop off so it looks like that nice big it's pretty much the uh super saiyan 3 joint um, from, I think, even way back in the one po the one point of Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, yeah. Look at that. So that's pretty nice. Um, so with that, he can pretty much do everything you need him to do, even with his hair. I mean, look at that. He looks around quite a bit. So. And then with the next, it just looks good. Um, the shoulder pads, once again, something I don't understand why they decide to do it with every other. Um, it's got two joints instead of one. So you can, like, up it so it doesn't look as bad when you raise the shoulder up. It doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look bad. Um, it definitely looks better than just having the single joint and having it just be up like that when you pose the arm up. Uh, speaking of the arm, it goes pretty much all the way out. Um, that's a little bit with the butterfly ball joint combo thing that they got in here. Um, it's pretty much just a, another big shoulder joint on top of another one. He can bring his arms forward a little bit. It's not the best, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right. And then it's a little tight on mine. Uh, the biceps are both good. They're pretty tight. I would assume they probably loosen up a few times after pulling off the arms and putting on the crossed arms. Um, I don't do that anymore after Jiren, so we uh, we don't talk about crossed arm effects. Uh, double jointed elbows. Pretty nice. Not perfect, but nice. And then he's got the typical wrist where it swivels at the base, and then it kind of twists on the where it plugs in, and then it's got the crunch so he's got a lot of motion there it also seems like the the pegs are like um layered 
So depending on how much you want the joint to move, you can push the hand down that much. So like you can have it kind of pulled out where I do, and then he gets more wrist movement. It does pop off a little bit easier. Or you can push it all the way in there. And it's more locked in there to where you don't get as much, but then it looks more flush. Um, the chest, tons of movement. Uh, it doesn't really go side to side, but it goes forward, forward and back, so that's pretty much all you need. Um, otherwise, the three skirt pieces move up and down. Um, mine, this front one, is completely loose. Which... I mean, it's not too big of a deal, but it's kind of a big deal. But, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Uh, the tail is on a ball joint. I've got the this tail out because I like this one a little bit more. So this one moves around. It can spin and stuff. The hips are on the 2.0 joints, except they don't have the hip caps, which looks nice. So they can bring all the way forward. Can go a little bit back, not too much. And they can go pretty far out. It's about as far out as they go. Or at least, you know, example on this one. Uh, they both, you can go pretty far. All right, sorry about that. Dogs decided to go crazy for a second. Uh, thigh swivel, tight. We get quite a bit out of it. Um, you can make some nice poses with it. The knees. Um, oh, and there goes... One of those, great. Um, uh, the knees, pretty good bend. Um, you have to really actually like go and try to make it flush. So there it looks a little bit more flush, so that's a little annoying. But at least you can make it look flush rather than having it not look flush at all like some of the other figures in the line. Let me just uh, add that back. Okay, easy pop. And then the ankles are on a pretty much a big wrist joint where they kind of go up, kind of go down. They don't pull out. Yeah, those are stationary in there. So he does have a lot of ankle pivot though. So that's nice. But uh, not a lot of, he's got a little bit of down, but almost no up. And then the toe hinge, typical toe hinge. So, he's pretty articulated, he does well in some spots, and then he does pretty okay in others. Um, I still think he's easily one of the better articulated figures in the line, especially seeing as he has a whole thing of hair. And, oh, also the hair goes up and down a little bit, in case I didn't mention that. I feel like I did, but maybe I didn't. Alright, let's... Check out the accessories. All right, and Raditz here comes with four different faces. He comes with that base stern face, as we saw. He comes with his cocky smile face, which looks very nice. He comes with the yelling, laughing, and streaming mad face. Also looks really good. And then he comes with his surprise, shocked, oh god, I just got headbutted by a kid face. Um, the, all of them look absolutely on point. I don't. I don't have a single issue with any of the four. I'm glad we got a good range of four. This one could also be, I guess, just a little mad as well. But he, it looks good. It looks good. I'm happy with these faces. So, And for the hands, he only comes with two extra sets of hands. Uh, he's got his two grabbing, holding hands. Uh, the paint on these all look good. Um, they're just pretty easy hands to understand. And then he's got his wide open hands. Uh, very nice looking. Um, good detail. The sculpt of the skin's a little uh, shiny slash flat. But you can still see nails and stuff, so that's all right. And for the extra things, uh, we have the crossed arm effects, which look nice. I'm sure they look good on the figure. I'm not going to use mine. Um, I think I've already mentioned it. My Jiren's peg broke. The, uh, the, the arm still goes on there, it's just like the second you twist it, it falls out, so you gotta, instead of twisting and moving it, you gotta take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. So, I don't trust these new cross arm effects, but they do look nice, so. That one's pretty good. He comes with a wrapped up tail, which comes on in the package. 
Um, but I just like the open one. It just adds a little extra personality. But uh, this also looks good. And then if you want to add a stand to him, uh, you can pull out his back plate and add this. If you don't want to use the clip, uh, the end of a stand just plugs in there. Obviously, you have to tighten it since he's a little bit heavier of a figure. But that also looks nice if you can hide it. No, all right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the review, guys. Um, Raditz is definitely one of the best releases. And, I mean, this set, I mean, he's pretty much following the wind of really good releases. The only real problems is he does have a few balancing issues. And he was a Pete Bandai exclusive once again, following on the coattails of that, where it seems like 8 out of 10 releases in the year are all going to be on P Bandai only. Um, it's not great, but, I mean, we're getting more figures. I mean, we're getting more specialized figures. We're not just getting endless Gokus and Vegetas. I mean, we still are. But I don't mind it. I don't care for paying right away, but it is nice to kind of have these paid for and done. That way we can just move on to the next set. Um, he's going to get an 8 out of 10 for me. I Honestly, the accessories are fine. Maybe a different set of hands or maybe an effect piece maybe would have been nice. But it's not like he's slouching. All the faces are literally on point. Uh, he's perfect size with Goku. I mean, he's taller and buffer than Goku, which is accurate. He, he makes Piccolo look not as bulky, which is also good. So um, that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys like this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later this week with another review. Peace out. Stay safe, guys. Later.